Hey everyone, it's Joe Bradley here in Houston, Texas, and I just want to thank you for stopping by my place. Thank you for stopping by my page. Thank you for stopping by my channel. If you found me on YouTube or if you subscribe to me, I just want to, if you if you find me on YouTube, then go ahead and click the subscribe button, subscribe to my channel. And if you're on my blog, then subscribe to my RSS feed as every day I'm Every day it's my intention and every day it's my goal to put out something that's so positive that it changes the direction of someone's life. Maybe who, maybe you may be in a, in a, in a, a down direction or maybe you may be having a bad day or a down day. It's my goal to fuel you with some positive energy, to give you something that's going to turn your red light to green, that's going to, that's going to uh, unjam the traffic that you're caught in in life. Because every now and again in life we get caught in traffic. Every now and again we get stopped at red lights and sometimes seem like some lights are longer than others. But I want to let you know the light won't, the light doesn't change. The color of the light doesn't change the destination. So don't get frustrated. Don't give up. Don't quit. Because the reality of it is, it is impossible to lose if you don't, is it, is it impossible to win? I'm sorry. It is impossible to not win. That's what I meant to say. It is impossible to not win if you don't quit. So just keep on hanging in there. Consistency is important. Uh... Um, being authentic is important focusing is important all of those lead to whatever life you are looking for whatever you're looking for in life authenticity plus consistency plus focus leads there and I'll probably do a video on that uh, in the coming days so stay tuned but today I want to talk about preparation today I want to talk about preparation because um, preparation is often overlooked and it's often undervalued, it's often un underestimated, and it's often just left out of the equation, but yet we wonder why it is that we don't have the success or we don't have the results that we're looking for. We want to be successful, but yet preparation has been left out. And I want to let you know this, that success isn't a goal. Success isn't something that we strive for. Success isn't something... Uh, that we that we aim at success really is a byproduct of preparation and dedication preparation and determination success is a byproduct it's not it's not the actual target it's something that happens as a result of putting together a formula and when you put together that formula of preparation and uh, and determination and dedication uh, 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 consistency and persistence focus I guarantee that success is a result of that success is a byproduct of that it happens it cannot be avoided when you have the right formula and so today in that of that of the ingredients in that formula I want to talk about preparation I want to talk about preparation because the reason why I want to want to talk about preparation is because preparation is often like I said just a minute ago overlooked Many people don't talk about preparation, and preparation, uh, many times, preparation can be passive and it can be active. We can prepare uh, actively, or we can be, or we can be prepared by the situation. But either way, preparation is a process, and preparation is going to happen. See, if we're not paying attention, if we're if we're not focusing, then preparation can happen to us. Uh, and that's how powerful our purpose is because here's the reality you're going to get there one way or another you're going to get there either by being prepared through events and circumstances or by preparing yourself through your daily actions and daily activities but preparation often comes before an explanation right preparation often comes before an explanation and what I mean by that is sometimes unforeseen circumstances happen. Sometimes things take place that we just don't understand, that we just can't figure it out. You know, we're trying to build our business, trying to build our team, trying to coach our team, trying to uh, to, to to position ourselves as a leader in the industry, or uh, or or trying to trying to get, you know, trying to focus on the goals that we have in front of us, trying to to get those things happening, and then. 
It seems like one thing after another, after another, after another seemed to come and distract us. Has any, has any of you ever been there before? Have any of you ever been to that place where no matter how much you focus, no matter how determined you are, no matter how much you claw and no matter how much you dig and no matter how much you just keep pressing forward, it seems like something always comes to knock you back or it seems like something always comes to distract you. It always comes to, to get in the way of what it is that you know you need to be doing. For instance, if you know you need to be blogging every day or if you know you need to be shooting a video every day, it seems like something always happens to where you can't do that, to where it, it's a necessity uh, and it gets in the way of shooting that video. It gets in the way, in the way of, uh, of you writing that blog. It gets in the way of you emailing your team. It gets in the way of you making that form of communication that you know you need to make. And, uh, and you, you, you just wonder why. Like, why is this happening to me? Well, that's preparation. That's preparation. See, because a true leader, a true leader has to be able to lead in spite of the circumstances. A true leader has to be able to lead in spite of what's going on around. Because here's the reality. The reality is that circumstances are going to happen anyway. Right? Circumstances are going to happen anyway. I know that we like to we like to think that once we get to a certain place, when we, once we get to a certain position, once we get to a certain accomplishment, and usually we put a number by that. When you know, once I'm making ten thousand dollars a month, then I know everything's going to be fine. You know, once I once I get to fifteen thousand a month, I know everything's going to be fine. Some of us, some people it's even lower. Once I if I can just make an extra five thousand dollars a month, if I can just make an extra thousand dollars a month, and that may be you right now listening to the video, and that's fine. Uh, but I want to let you know that a number doesn't change. A, a number in your income, in your money, a, a, a larger number isn't going to change the fact that circumstances are going to happen. It's not going to change. Circumstances happen, period. Right? And so here's what I want to give you with that. If you're waiting for the circumstances to be all together and be all together right before you actually start moving forward and moving toward your goal, then I want to let you know that you're going to be sitting there for a long time because circumstances are circumstances are like time. They just keep on moving. They keep on coming. They keep on going. They keep coming. They keep going. Circumstances are like buses rather better than time. As, as one passes, another one is coming up right and so if you're waiting for the stars to align if you're waiting for the ducks to be all lined up in a row if you're waiting for the for circumstances to to be in your favor to be all together good then I want to let you know that you're wasting your time and you might as well just get to moving now because that's never going to happen the stars are never going to line up in your favor and they're never going to line up out of your favor the stars are just aligned we make the circumstance what it is we make the situation what it is don't wait for the right moment this is a quote i heard i can't, I can't remember who came up with the quote but don't wait for the right moment take the moment take the moment and make it right and so what preparation is we often don't understand why these unforeseen circumstances are taking place why these unforeseen circumstances are happening but what they are they are forms of preparation and the explanation will come eventually but a leader has to be able to lead in spite of a leader has to be able to lead in spite of all of the opposition in spite of all the circumstances and understand that these situations these circumstances are simply a part of life and if we are pressing forward, if we're focused, if we're consistent, then those circumstances that could be opposed to us, that could be obstacles, now become fuel for the journey. But don't, don't overlook, don't throw your preparation out. Don't throw these events out. Don't throw those circumstances out and make them obstacles. Don't allow them to become obstacles. Let them continue to prepare you to become the person, the leader that you need to be. I hope this has helped you out today. And if it has, then go ahead and leave a comment below because you know I, I, I would love to to hear how it helped you out. I would love to hear how how this uh how this video has has definitely uh maybe turned your red light green or how this video has uh moved you into the next 
uh, in, into that next intersection, you know, and and uh, I'll be so grateful just to hear that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, like I said, leave a comment below. And if you like this video, then please share it with someone else so they can benefit from it too. Because there are plenty of people who don't understand that circumstances can be preparation if we align ourselves right. If we focus on our goal, if we keep our mind set where it needs to be, then circumstances are like fuel. They will fuel us for the journey. If you're looking for someone to, uh, to work with, then uh, just go ahead and click the link below. We have a formula, like I said earlier in the video, um, success is a byproduct of the right formula. And if you're looking for that right formula, then just click on the link below. I look forward to listening, or to, I look forward to working with you. I look forward to talking to you again. Uh, and so just subscribe, and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.